so protein is really important for bone health in fact 50% of our bone is made up of protein so uh, women should uh, be mindful of their protein intake and make sure that they are meeting their daily protein requirement as well Welcome to another episode of Say Yes to a Healthy Living. And today we will be discussing about something which has been a concern for women, especially who are above thirty. I'm talking about bone health. So to discuss this, I have with me Dr. Harsha Joshi, who is the program director at INFS. Welcome, Doctor. Hi, Joshi. Thank you, everyone. I am Dr. Harsha, the program director of the Institute of Nutrition and Fitness Sciences. Hi, Doctor. So you know, my first question to you would be that uh, you know we've always heard that if you're thirty or above and you're a woman, you will definitely start facing deficiency with calcium, and that will you know directly affect your bone health. So, what do you have to say on that? um well there is uh, you know some scientific proof to it um, though this is also uh, preventable with the right nutrition and uh, exercise women are certainly more vulnerable when it comes to bone issues as compared to men so uh, you know if one in five uh, men uh, in the senior age group would suffer from bone related disorders the proportion for women is much higher it is as common as one in three women so women need to be more cautious uh, when it comes to taking care of their bone health so doctor now the first as we discussed about men and women so is there any difference between the composition of male or the female bones could you highlight that Yes, there is certainly a difference in the bones in the skeletal framework of men and women. So generally, men uh, do tend to have larger surface area for their bones, and uh, the bones uh, there is more bone at the side where the muscles and ligaments attach to the bones. But when it comes to uh, females, the surface area is not that much. Um, and the other thing is, uh, yeah, there is an advantage in the sense women do have a stronger pelvis uh, because obviously you know they have to give birth. so that is one thing but men again have the advantage of a few more years of growth spurts when it comes to the bone growth which females do not have so yes that is the primary difference between the male and the female bones doctor you know uh, i would uh, as i mentioned my first first question to you would be that you know above 30 there is a certain stigma that you know if you are 30 and plus you should start taking calcium so is there any specific age where you know uh, women need to start taking care of their bone health or something uh yes post 30 women should definitely start taking care of their bones because after the age of 30 um the bone mass the bone mineral density starts to reduce gradually and in case of women this effect will become most pronounced when the ladies are uh, nearing their menopause so a couple of years before the menopause and post menopause also the speed at which the bone mineral density reduces that starts getting faster so beginning 30 onwards i would definitely recommend all women to start taking care of their bones doctor what can be done you know to you know if you know the bone mass starts starts to reduce so what can be done to prevent that or what measures the women can take so there are uh, you know couple of measures that i would like to suggest the number one is to uh, be mindful that you do not have any deficiencies so you need to uh, keep a tab on your calcium levels your vitamin uh, d levels especially you know once you are crossing the age of 35 and uh, significantly so after your menopause so keep a tab on these uh, mineral deficiencies because this is what would uh, make you more prone to bone related uh, issues the second very important thing is to have a weight that falls within the normal stable range neither too less nor too much because make uh, you know if the weight is too less for underweight females the bone mass is going to go on decreasing it would be lesser so again that puts you at a risk for bone issues uh, and if you happen to be overweight it's the bone quality that uh, starts to suffer and you also become more uh, you know prone to imbalances and falls and fractures so uh, having a stable weight is another thing which is very important 
the third thing is exercise so exercise it has you know been scientifically proven to have the capability of improving your bone uh, mass and your bone mineral density and it is not just the youngsters that i am talking about even post menopausal women senior women if they also start exercising a research shows that as little as 30 minutes of exercise in a day can actually improve your bone mineral density take care of your minerals take care or, or and your diet take care of your weight and exercise regularly so doctor as we discussed you know you also uh, pointed out about menopause so how are these two things interrelated your bone health and your menopause So basically what happens in menopause is that um, certain hormones start dropping in females so estrogen progesterone these hormones begin to reduce and these hormones are directly related to the way in which a female's body can absorb uh, important minerals like calcium so because the hormones are low the mineral absorption is low which makes your bone uh, bones weaker the mineral density lesser and it makes you more prone to disorders like osteoporosis where your bones can actually become porous so th- that is the primary correlation can you just differentiate between what is osteopenia osteoporosis and osteoarthritis so when we speak of osteopenia it is not uh, you know really a disease it is a decreased bone mineral density and you don't uh, you know usually find any clinical sign or symptom of osteopenia so most often what happens is you're going in for a routine checkup and it just happens to reflect in your reports that your bone density is uh, going down but at the same time it is an alarm uh, because when you do have osteopenia it indicates that you are at a greater risk for developing osteoporosis later in your life and when we speak of osteoporosis well it is a disorder that is mainly linked to two things one is the mineral uh, and vitamin deficiencies uh, mainly calcium and b with uh, vitamin d and the um, second thing is the hormonal uh, levels as i mentioned in menopausal uh, and postmenopausal females and in this um, you lose the bone mineral density and your bones become porous and when we speak of osteoarthritis where uh, well it is a chronic uh, disease of the joints it is a degenerative joint disease so your bones basically have a protective layer something known as a cartilage and that goes on decreasing that goes on degenerating so uh, you know you tend to have a painful joints uh, you tend to have swollen joints you tend to have stiff joints so that is what osteoarthritis is all about i right, doctor as you mentioned about you know vitamin d and you know other minerals that you know women should uh, women consume or something so you know you know there are a certain supplements also you know that are recommended to women so uh, are they really useful in strengthening the bones uh, what do you have to say about that you know should women consume supplements or how should they go about go about it they should consult a doctor what is the science behind it so uh, doshi you know instead of going for these over the counter multivitamins um, that are available i would always suggest women to first get their blood test done they need to evaluate clinically how is their uh, vitamin d level how is the calcium because that is when you will get the adequate dosage it is not just important to consume minerals and vitamins it is important to consume them in the adequate dosages but there are certainly uh, some vitamins and minerals which have proven to be very useful for women so uh, vitamin d and calcium uh, we have magnesium and uh, zinc uh, even vitamin k so definitely these supplements do help when it comes to improving bone health and an often neglected fact about bone health uh, which i would really like to stress upon is protein so protein is really important for bone health in fact 50% of our bone is made up of protein so uh, women should uh, be mindful of their protein intake and make sure that they are meeting their daily protein requirement as well 
Uh, doctors, we were discussing about protein and diets. You know, what important things, you know, women should include in their diet on a daily basis so that, you know, their calcium requirement is fulfilled or other vitamins and minerals are fulfilled and their bone health is also well maintained. So uh, basically a holistic diet, you know, which is a good balance of uh, proteins, carbs and uh, fats along with the micronutrients. I'm talking about particular recommendations, I would say uh, milk and uh, cheese, uh, yogurt, uh, green leafy vegetables consume a lot of those, um, particularly, you know, fenugreek and uh, spinach, um, even broccoli uh, is, is great uh, for vitamin K. Um, and also uh, omega-3 fatty acids, uh, they do support bone health. Um, so would definitely uh, recommend, uh, you know, almonds and walnuts uh, and flax seeds and um, fatty fish. Uh, and in uh, speaking of seeds, uh, chia seeds and sesame seeds are also quite good when it comes to bone health. And um, for protein, uh, definitely, you know, for the non-vegetarians, eggs and uh, meat, fish are great options. And for the vegetarians, uh, soya is a wonderful uh, option. Uh, so is paneer. Hi, doctor. So, you know, you have to maintain a well-balanced diet, which includes your proteins. For vegetarians, you can go for soya or paneer, as you mentioned. For non-vegetarians, you can go for your preferred uh, source of meat. And then, you know, you should also include certain microgreens and green leafy vegetables. And then, of course, you need to include some sort of uh, um, supplement which has um, calcium in it for like paneer or milk or yogurt or milk for that matter. And also certain seeds also give that kick. So as we spoke about the diet requirements, what diet, what, you know, exercises uh, you would recommend if you could list five of them, you know, women who are at home and cannot go to the gym. So uh, what all they can do at just staying at home? Yes. So uh, strength training, uh, definitely, because strength training has been uh, proven to actually increase the bone mass uh, density. And uh, particularly, if I have to recommend exercise, then uh, you know exercises that are exerting uh, a push and pull um, sort of a force and movement around your joints. So uh, something like squats, which you can easily do at home without using any equipment or um, knee push-ups or regular push-ups. Uh, those are also really wonderful. Um, if you gym, then um, leg press and use weights uh, uh, that will surely help. Uh, apart from that, yoga is also wonderful um, for joint health. So uh, Surya Namaskar is one exercise which is very good uh, when it comes to um, you know, strengthening um, your joints and improving your overall flexibility. So yes, these are, and if, if you have something like, you know, osteoarthritis, uh, which is limiting your movements and you cannot know, do like all who, who, uh, Like whose uh, bones are not very strong or something, or they're facing with some of the other issues. So how can they practice some exercise? So what movements they can do? So simply walking also helps, you know, even 30 minutes of, uh, of exercise, any, any exercise. So even if you go uh, for a walk, uh, which will definitely not, you know, put too much of a load on your joints, that also helps. Um, so for those who are having restriction uh, because of the painful or stiff joints, uh, try walking or uh, try light, uh, low impact kind of aerobic exercises, which will not strain your joints. Hi, doctor. So we've had for, uh, we've discussed about bone health for anyone and everyone, not just women, you know, even men can follow these certain tips which you shared with us. Thank you so much for taking out time for India.com and the health site. We'll be back with another episode next week. Till then, stay tuned.